Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Messers, episode 52. This is part Quaternions, part 4. We'll be looking at the inverse, the difference, and the dot product. The difference was back in episode 28, uh, where we looked at quaternion inverse notation. So we'll go ahead and start with that, which is the Q to the negative 1 here. And this is, if you don't remember, that's the conjugate, and this is the magnitude. And so some simple truths can hold for this that we'll figure out. Um, notes about inverse, the quaternion and its inverse multiplied together, uh, we'll get the identity for purposes using unit quaternions as the conjugate, and inverse will always be equal. So we can go ahead and take a look at our code here. You can see that here's the inverse computer right here for this particular quaternion. You normalize it and we multiply by the item by its inverse itself, we will see that we get the identity. And then also, if we just go ahead and get the conjugate, this is equivalent to the inverse up here. So all of these things hold true. So now we can move on to the difference. Let me go ahead and bring up our code that we made for this real quick. So scrolling all the way down, you can see here is the inverse where we are going ahead and creating the quaternion, having the magnitude, the conjugate, and making basically that uh, division like we just saw over here. So pretty simple to compute that. The difference uses that inverse, so what we're going to do here is we're basically taking the inverse and then multiplying. And this was from episode 30. Um, as you can see, the difference we said, say, here is from the uh, displacement from of D, which rotates from A to B. And ultimately, that is the inverse of A times B. So. It's uh, closer to division mathematically than a difference, so to speak, but that computes uh, pretty easily. So you could see the difference between um, going back here for looking at the difference between the identity uh, with something, and we'll see that it is always that something. Um, alternatively, if we have a couple here, we can go ahead and compute that difference out as well. Finally, we have the dot product here. Um, and that's just a very, very simple uh, magnitude type thing, similar to uh, vectors. Um, and then I believe that was in, uh, I don't remember what episode dot product is here. Oh, we sorry, excuse me. <laughs> it's on the same episode as the difference. So we have here, and it's very similar to the vector dot product, and it's a very simple formula. So we basically just compute that out right very, very manually. And uh, that's it. It will note that for unit quaternions, uh, it'll always lie between negative 1 and 1. And um, we're actually interested in the absolute value of a dot b because of this here. Um, that being said, I didn't put that into the code. You can always do that um, very easily yourself. So we could see that if we normalize this, we do the dot product with the identity, and then we also go ahead and uh, normalize Q2 from above, and we do the dot product between the two, and we can see what each of those are, respectively. So that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and share a like. Give this, uh, uh, so share this on social media. Go to programmingtil.com and send up our newsletter. Thanks. Have a great one.